Hello everyone, thank you for coming in to another episode on the channel and in today's screencast we're going to be creating a React application using WebStorm. This is done automatically for you so you're able to just get rolling with React right away. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open up WebStorm. Then you're going to go into create new project. Over here you're going to choose React application. And here you're going to give your React application a name. In my case, it's just simple React. I'm going to choose the version of Node that I want to use. I have different versions. This was the previous one, but I'm going to use 14.5. And the version of this script right here, create, uh, create React app. So I can do either 3.4.1. And this is the script that's going to set up Webpack and everything for you. So you don't have to worry about anything. Now I'm going to create the project. And this is going to give me a boilerplate of a React application. It's getting everything in there. And basically, this is ready to go. Once, once this install is installed, uh, we will be able to, you will be able to just start coding your React application. You will also have a sample application so you can just go off of this one and start creating your own if you're just getting started. I know when I was getting started, this is the best method and I still use it till this day because it saves me a ton of time. And Once you start building, the script finishes building your application, you're going to need to start your your npm your 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 application so this basically is going to build it and start it for you in a port 3000 of your local host of your current host so let me go into this option right here npm this comes by default with the editor so let's just click on double click on that and that's going to build that for you you can also use custom key shortcodes to just shortcuts to just connect this one to a uh, action that you prefer so again let me do that okay so that's running I can just go right here and it's starting my server and basically that's going to give me the endpoint of my current application where it's at and it's going to run the application for us. So in the meantime, let me take you to what was generated. Uh, to start with, we have a public directory. In this public directory, we have the logo, the index file, the manifest.json file, a robots.txt. Let's see what that looks like. Pretty standard starting point manifest so that tells your browser a little bit more about your application your logos and you're gonna see that in your when we go into the i into the browser and this is the index file so basically it's an html template you know, let me lower this close this It's got the title for your application, so you will change this to whatever sample or application that you're building. It's got the no script tag, so if it doesn't have JavaScript, it's going to give the user this message. And then it has this div with an ID of root. And if we go back into what was built, we see the source. And inside the source, we have different files. This is where React is is working from so let's go for the app.js file and as you can see this returns a fun function with your app.js and in the index.js this is where we are importing the app.js file and we're binding this document get element root so this basically this id right here it's been passed right here right here into this render function and that's how it knows exactly where to run your react application so if we go here this is our local host 3000 this already has our learn react or our application let me put it right here 
just to show you exactly what happens as I update this. So this is hot module replacement. It comes with it right out of the box. So you, like I said, you can just get started and start building your application right away without worrying about setting any, any of this stuff. Uh, so edit, you see this right here? I'm gonna change it to, this is a simple React application. I saved it. It's going to take a little bit. And with hot module replacement, what it's going to do is just going to run it for me right away. So it's going to compile everything behind the scenes. You, and that comes from that NPM start script that basically uh, React is running for us. And basically, it just gave us this, you know, ready to go so that we don't have to worry about rebuilding the script or watching or any of that if we do watch we'll have to uh, refresh this and the problem with that is that say that you're working with a single page application and it's very complex and maybe you're in step 20 you know and you don't want it to go back you don't want the page to refresh then this works wonderfully because then you can continue testing and just make changes on the fly and here you have some more things that you can like a an anchor tag with that goes into react you can obviously change this to your own application you don't have to make it look like this and i'll show you exactly where where that is so you can start making changes to this hello sample just showing you how hot module replacement works Here's where the logo is. This logo has a class name of app logo and this right here, it's coming from app.css. So that's one thing that I usually change. I change this to app.scss. If you do that, you need to install npm install node sass so that it knows that it needs to read this as sass file. Either scss or sass uses the same module. So this is where the logo is I can change the height of that I can just say hey maybe I want it 45 you see that increased the size you can make it smaller if that's what you want to and here you can change the color right here so I can give it something like FF000 that's gonna change the color of that I just made something bright so that you can see the difference but like I said you have a react application it's ready to go you don't have to worry about anything else uh, you're ready to work and this is wonderful and once again it's something that is wonderful about this JetBrains and the editor family from JetBrains it honestly it's above and beyond uh, the best editor for me in my opinion the best family of editors so I use it for several for several things I use it for building just my web applications I use WebStorm for go I use Goland and for PHP I use PHP storm I've also used just a uh, idea I think it's the name for Java uh, at one job that I had only a few Java but that's what I use and then for Python I know there's PyCharm I believe and there's also one for Ruby so it's really yeah it's PyCharm and it's really above and beyond the best editor or best family of editors and i really strongly recommend it so there it is you have your react application please by all means continue working and get started so once again thank you for coming to the channel thank you for watching this video and i hope from now on you can just create your react applications really fast Leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, and let me know if you need help with something. I'm more than, help, uh, more than happy to help. You can inbox me or just leave a comment on one of the videos. Have a great week, and once again, I will see you next week.